What matters to you matters to us. The Social Services and Wellbeing Wales Act. The Welsh Government and Councils are changing the way we do things, making your care and support the best it can be to help you to live the life you choose and stay independent for longer. We want to improve the way we do things in Wales. From April 2016, the Social Services and Wellbeing Wales Act is law. This changes how councils and care services work. The Act is based on five themes. For you to have a voice, be in control and make decisions about your life. We will work with you to keep you well and to see when you need support. We will work with you to help you get what matters to you and is important. For you to be involved in how your care and support is decided and provided. Everyone will work together to help you to live the life you choose for longer. In this act, well-being means people are healthy, feel good about their life, are safe and protected and can learn new things. Also for adults it means having control over their life and being able to work. For children, well-being means being able to grow up happily and being looked after well. The well-being of people who need care and support and carers who need support is at the heart of the Act. Everyone in Wales has a right to well-being and a responsibility for their own well-being. Some people need help to achieve this. We will all work together to help you to improve your well-being, care services, local councils, community services, voluntary services, health organisations, social services and Welsh Government, a multi-agency approach across sectors. We want to change the way we do things and have different conversations with you. We want to have the right conversation at the right time. By asking you different questions. Instead of asking, what is the matter with you? We will ask, what matters to you? So we can find out what's important to you. We want to have the right conversation with you so we can find the right solution with you. We can help you to find different solutions for the same problem. Depending on what is important and matters to you. How do we do this? Our first conversation with you could be face to face, on the phone, digitally or by post. We listen and ask what can you do, with and without the support of family, friends or carers, and talk with you about solutions. We can connect you with someone who can help, either by signposting you to useful people and information, or connect you with services who can discuss care and support. We identify who you should talk to next to find the right solution for you. This could be signposting, short-term support or a care and support plan. Our team have many resources to help that we can signpost you to. Sometimes during the first conversation we find a solution with you and you won't need any more help from us. Jim and Mo's story. Mo cares for her husband who has dementia. She called us saying, Jim's depressed as he can't walk his dog, Pip. He gets confused and lost. I'm tired out. We arranged for Bob to walk Pip with Jim so Mo could have some rest. Mo's also getting help from a carer's support service. Sometimes you will only need support for a short time, 
a short-term plan rather than a long-term care and support plan, we can help you to live the life you choose and be independent. Short-term support, Meg's story. Meg called us. She was self-employed with an injury and could not work for six more weeks. She was panicking about having money to buy her family food. We talked about what Meg had already. Her cousin lived nearby. We arranged for her to pick up some food vouchers the same day. Next, Meg called the school. Her children were able to have free dinners until she was well again. We talked to Meg about benefits. Now she was less stressed, Meg started doing her physiotherapy exercises more and taking her children to the park. She was back to normal much sooner than expected and stopped needing our help. If you need long-term care and support, we will create a plan. Before, we would have looked for solutions and created your care plan. We have changed the way we do things. Now, we will meet with you and create your care plan with you and your carers. Finding solutions together. Before, we would have written your care and support plan and delivered it with the services that were in place when we could do it. Now, we want to listen to you and your carers to talk about opportunities and to help you get what matters to you. Care and support plan. Xiao is 82 and after a bad fall had a stay in hospital. His family were worried about how he'd manage back at home as they all live far away. First, we had a conversation with Xiao and the people who care for him and talked about what mattered to him. Xiao told us he loved his home and he had lived there for over 30 years and wanted to stay there. Next, Xiao was supported home from hospital so that his needs could be assessed. Then we arranged for a support worker to come every morning. They helped Xiao get dressed and checked he was OK. Xiao talked to his family, friends and neighbours and arranged for someone to pop in at 5pm every day. And Xiao stayed living in the home he loved. Now whichever type of care and support you need, we start by asking what is it about your relationships, your community and life that matters to you? We focus on you and your carer's well-being and quality of life. This is our starting point for conversations. Next, we talk to you about what you have already. Your skills and abilities, the people in your life and places in your community that are important to you. We build a picture of what you have now. Then we look at what else is available. We see what could help you to improve your well-being and stay independent for longer. And then see how our services can help and work with you to find the right solution.